Today I'm making a twist Damascus everyday carry knife. Uh, this is the first time I ever made a Damascus knife. I made it out of 15 and 20, 1084. Had a few problems. I actually had three failures, three failed attempts. Finally, uh, on the fourth attempt, uh, you'll see it later in the video, I was able to get the billet forge welded together and make the knife. I started out uh, cutting out my pieces, grinding the surfaces flat, try to get all the the uh, mill scale off and then clean them up real good with acetone and then I used uh, my MIG welder to weld them all together after that. I just ran welds right on the corners of the billet. Uh, this first attempt was all 1 16th inch uh, thick steel, which turned out to be too thin on the outer edges anyway. Uh, but I welded up a piece of rebar for my handle, soaked it in kerosene, and put some borax flux on the billet, put it in the forge, let it heat up to forge weld temp, I could see on this first attempt uh, as the billet was heating up the outer layer of 1 16th inch thick steel started to kind of peel up a little bit. Probably should have stopped there. Um, you can see there a dark spot and I did not get a good forge weld on that piece. So I thought I would try and just grind it out and then go ahead and draw the billet out and see if I can salvage the piece and still get a knife out of it. And as it turned out there were uh, more issues with this billet. Once I had it drawn out I could see it was starting to delaminate. You can see there uh, I went ahead and cut that piece in half that uh, just to see what was going on on the inside and it was obviously not going to work. Uh, I went through two other attempts, had some other issues with overheating the steel. This is the fourth and final attempt. I think I got it figured out. I used uh, thicker uh, pieces for my billet. One eighth inch on the outer layer. The, in, the innermost layer was actually quarter inch, uh, 15 and 20. The two outer layers were 8th inch, 1084, and then I had some other pieces in between there. Um, it's only about seven layers. And there I was hitting the billet on an angle to see if I had a good forge weld. I decided to just stop and grind it out along the edge and get the weld off just to check it and make sure I had a good forge weld and it looked good. So I went ahead and drew the billet out. Once I had it drawn out uh, about five inches or so, I knocked back the corners, made it more of a round shape so that when I twisted it, I wouldn't have uh, those cold shuts along the outer edge, or at least not as many. So I had it all ready to, to twist. I just wanted to check. Uh, Make sure I had my vise at about the right position. Make sure I had my pipe wrench at about the right position so that when I pulled it out uh, to twist it, I could not waste too much time.
So I only did two heats for the twist. Brushed the scale off in between uh, probably two or three complete 360 twists uh, for each heat. So after I had the twist done, I went ahead and just flattened it out, drew it out some more. Once I had it drawn out more, I got took it over to the uh, angle grinder, tried to clean up those edges, and then I wanted to do it test etch just to see if I could see any of the pattern. Uh, right now it's probably quarter inch thick. Uh, I'd say it's about nine inches long. Uh, so I need to get another inch and a half or so of length and at least another half inch of width on it. Then I can cut my knife pattern out. But so far this one is looking good. You can see here some of the weld from the handle. You can see the different color of that weld on the handle there. So I went ahead and drew it out a little bit more, tried to get it all straightened up. Once I had the right length, I just uh, ground the forge scale off of it and marked my pattern out so that I could uh, cut the, the blank out for the knife. Most of it I cut out on the little portable bandsaw that I built. And from there I took it over to the angle grinder, cleaned up the, the edges and got the, most of the profiling done. And it was over to the belt sander, more profiling. Try to reduce some of the thickness. It was it was fairly thick at that point, probably uh, six or seven millimeters, I think. So it was pretty thick. So I was just cleaning it all up there so that I could uh, mark out the holes for my pins. Got those marked out, used a 1 16th inch drill bit for my pilot hole. I think it was a 1 8th inch bit after that for the holes. It was 3 16th inch rod I was using. So I normalized it twice at that point, then I went ahead and hardened it. Quenched it in Parks 50. Didn't have any issues, no warps. Checked the hardness with the 65 HRC file and it was hard. So there I'm just cleaning it up, getting some of the, the scale off. And then I'm marking out the lines so I can grind the bevels, the plunge line, Once I had the bevels ground, I hand sanded up to 600 grit. Then I ground the bevels on the clip after that. And just tried to clean those up with 
again up to 600 grit sandpaper. Once I had that done, I etched it, fair chloride and water, three to one, three parts water to one part fair chloride. And I ended up doing about six etches, anywhere from one to five minutes each. And I sanded the oxides off in between. After that, I did a coffee etch. Probably slightly over etched the knife. Uh, you can actually feel along the blade, the, the edges of the 15 and 20, just barely. So probably could have etched it one or two times less than what I did. So I had that all done and I'm trying to get the, the surface finished. Uh, with just some sandpaper and a file that's 2500 grit sandpaper that I was using there just to try and get the highlights done on the polished up on it so I had the knife pretty much this the the blade all done it was time to go work on the handle had a piece of maple uh, a maple block that I used marked it out and then I went ahead and just drilled the holes, cut out the shape of the handle. Cleaned it up a little bit on the belt sander, and then I went ahead and split it into the two separate pieces that were going to be the scales. Ground those surfaces flat. And there I'm just uh, sanding down the, the front edge of the scales there before I did the glue up. It's really hard to get to that after it's glued up. I had that all done and it was time to get it all glued together. Use 24 hour epoxy. Got it all fitted up, put together, clamped up. Cleaned uh, most of the epoxy off, all that I could, with uh, some WD 40 and Q tips. Let it sit overnight and then it was time to finish uh, sanding the handle. Sanded the handle up to 1500 grit. Put boiled linseed oil on it just to bring out some of the grain. Finish that up with some wax, uh, carnauba wax on the handle, and just hand buffed that out. And the knife was finished. I thought it turned out really nice for the first time. Uh, Damascus project even though I did have three failures up to that point I learned a lot in the process and I'm sure next time I'll uh, be one step ahead thanks for watching see you next time